Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the 391 versus the 362 steel chainsaw. Um, what I like, what I dislike about them, and is it worth the extra few hundred dollars for the 362? So, um, I bought the 362 uh, new earlier this year, and the 391 I got earlier um, just a few months ago. And uh, I've run them both quite a bit now. As far as horsepower goes, as far as like getting through the log as fast, you know, the, the fastest one, they're really, they're, they're tick for tat. You, you, you'll hardly notice a difference between the power that this one has versus this one. To me, if I was going based on solely just the uh, power and the ability to get through a log faster, the 362 is not worth the money, the extra money, um, just for that, just that speed factor alone. They are, they, if you, if you have them side by side and everything was exactly the same, the 362 might beat out the three, 391 here just a little bit faster, but it's not worth it in the long run, even if you're using the thing eight hours a day. The nice thing about the, 362 is on this side. So everything is metal. This is metal. Your, your gas tank is metal. Your, your nuts will stay in on the cover. So don't worry about losing them, which is nice. This has got the electronic, M-tronic, um, whatever you want to call it, carburetor. And this one has the old fashioned manual style. I actually probably prefer this guy over this guy. I can do my own adjustments. I feel like sometimes I fire this thing up, it just doesn't run right. I've tuned it with the auto tune where you hold the throttle for 30 seconds. I'm not, I'm not overly impressed with it. Again, like I said earlier, if I was to buy one new again, I probably would not buy this one and I'd just go to the 391. They say the 391 isn't as easy to rebuild as the 362. The 362 is supposed to be really easy to rebuild, but I mean, Who's going to ever need to rebuild the chainsaw in their lifetime? You're, you're more than likely going to scrap the saw or it's going to be in such rough shape, you're not going to put a new engine in it. So that's really not a selling point to me. Uh, even if I was a commercial arborist and needed, you know, needed to use a saw every single day. Um, weight wise, you really don't notice a difference. They're, they're pretty close to the same weight. Um, now that I have the two, you know, obviously I'm going to keep them, but I just keep the, this one is set up with a 25 inch bar and this one's set up with a 20 inch bar. This has a little bit nicer of a, a handle on it. It's more absorbent. It has that rubber shock absorber. But yeah, other than that, if you're, if you're a farm guy and you're going to use it more often than you, you're a wood burner, you're going to use it often, but you're not an arborist get the 391. Don't waste your money on the 362. If you're a tree guy, I'd probably still go with the 391. I like being able to tune my carb the way I want to tune it. You can you can pour it out the exhaust if you want to and tune it right. I don't know if you could do that with a 362. Uh, the 391 is quite a bit cheaper and for the extra money, I would rather just throw this saw away when I'm done with it if I was going to burn it up and just buy a new one rather than sticking money into one to rebuild it because you're gonna have to replace a lot of other parts if you get this thing wore out enough to have to rebuild it. So those are my thoughts on the steel chainsaws. Great saws, love them. They're, they're fantastic saws. I, I'm, steel has won my vote. I've had other brands. They're, they're, they're just a lot better built. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, it really helps. I, I put up videos often, try to do some comparisons. I try to um, do some how-to videos as well. So just uh, hit the subscribe button so you can stay in touch. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.